Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Dude, the channel where we explain all things tech. Today, we're going to be discussing USB ports, cables, types, and connectors, and how they all work together. Established an industry standard in specifications and compliance testing. USB specs cover short-distance digital communications for peripheral devices, cables, and connectors. USB has become extremely successful and is the common connector for billions of peripheral devices in daily use. All modern computers have at least one USB port. It's the dominant wired interface for a broad range of devices, even beyond desktops, laptops, tablets, and phones. USB connects anything from keyboards and mice to music players and flash drives. As we said, the original USB version 1.0 was released in 1996. Data transfer was at a low bandwidth of 1.5 megabits per second. In a later release in 1998, USB version 1.1 used full bandwidth running at 12 megabits per second. In today's digital world, these speeds are extremely slow. Transferring large files at this pace takes a very long time. Then, USB 2.0 was released in 2000. This offered a substantial increase in speed. It's called high-speed USB, and it's still used quite a bit today. USB 2.0 has a maximum data rate of 480 megabits per second. This transfer rate is much faster than the 1.1 version and helped USB gain popularity as a connection interface for external devices. It was a number of years later that USB 3.0 came along in 2008. It was called Super Speed USB, and it has a maximum data rate of 5 gigabits per second. That was a big increase in speed. Then, in 2013, an enhancement was released in version 3.1 called Super Speed Plus, with data rates up to 10 gigabits per second. And in 2017, 3.2 was released, called Super Speed Times 2, with data speeds up to 20 gigabits per second. The times 2 represents the dual lane for two unidirectional data paths for sending and receiving data at the same time. Later, these releases were renamed to conform with the USB 3.2 generational naming convention, Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2x2. The latest version is USB 4, introduced in 2019. It represents another leap forward in data transfer speed, video resolution, power, and transfer rates. Both USB 4, Gen 2x2, and Gen 3x2 use dual lane, and this generation requires the USB-C connector type. Let's take a closer look at the USB specifications for cable length. For full-speed USB 1.1, the specified maximum cable length is 3 meters, or 9 feet 10 inches. The USB 2.0 specs limit the maximum length of a cable between devices to 5 meters, or about 16 feet 5 inches. The USB 3.0 and 3.1 standards don't specify a maximum cable length, but give a recommended length of 3 meters. The biggest limitation to data transfer rates is the cable quality. You should always get the best quality cable possible for maximum speed. To get the maximum speed on USB 4, be sure that your cables are fully compatible. For this generation, there's a significant risk of data loss if cables longer than 31 inches are used. Let's look at the different shapes and sizes of USB connector types. USB Type-A is the standard connector found on almost every desktop PC and on older laptops. You'll often see these connectors used on wired mice, keyboards, and on your USB memory stick. You may sometimes see that USB ports and connectors are color-coded. Some equipment manufacturers use this to identify special USB features that they support. These colors aren't part of the USB specifications and aren't consistent between equipment manufacturers. USB Type-B is the largest connector and is commonly used to connect printers, scanners, routers, external hard drives, or other large devices. The Mini-USB, or USB Mini-B, is a small connector and was popular for portable electronics like digital cameras and some cell phones. The Mini was replaced by the Micro Connector. The USB Micro-B is even smaller than the Mini. It has one configuration for USB 2.0, and a different configuration for USB 3.0. These connectors are widely used on smartphones. USB Type-C is the latest standard connector and is designed to be smaller, thinner, and lighter for mobile devices. This connector finally solved the which side goes up conundrum. Because of its symmetrical design, it can be inserted in a port either way, so you never have to turn it over and try again. The USB-C cable can also be reversible. That is, with the same connector on both ends, it can connect two devices that both have USB-C ports. Many new laptops have eliminated USB-A and RJ45 Ethernet ports, 
and offer USB-C as the only port for video, networking, data transfer, and charging. This has prompted other protocols to adopt USB-C as their standard source connector, including Thunderbolt, DisplayPort, MHL, and HDMI. There are other USB features to be aware of. USB is a cross-platform technology that's supported by most operating systems. Each USB port version is backward compatible and forward compatible through adapters. This means that it can support any version below or above its current number. On Windows 98 and higher, USB is hot swappable, meaning that USB devices can be added and removed while the computer is running. USB also uses plug and play configuration. Windows can detect when a new device is connected to the PC and even install the drivers automatically. As far as power is concerned, USB can supply power across cables to devices that need it and charge the batteries of certain devices. The USB-C cable can supply up to 100 watts of power.